At the height of the Boko Haram attacks in northeastern Nigeria, hundreds of thousands of people fled the region. The small Nigerian city of Yola experienced a massive influx of internally displaced people, enough to more than double its population. There were thousands, not hundreds, of people living in the community. So we came together, the University and the Otomawa Peace Initiative, to figure out a way to feed these people and to make sure they were living in safety. At the height of it, we had almost 300,000 people we were taking care of. The international community didn't know that we had this humanitarian crisis here. So this is really the story of a community that came together to not only protect its young people, to, but to feed hundreds of thousands of people. An immense flood of refugees can create chaos and divisiveness, even in the wealthiest of countries. Yet, through the stewardship of the American University of Nigeria's Adamawa Peace Initiative, the AUN-API, this poor sub-Saharan community pulled together to form a stronger, more resilient society. The Adamawa Peace Initiative is just like a baby of the American University. It was established by the American University, but community leaders are involved religious leaders are involved, those from the academia. The major goals of the Adamawa Peace Initiative were to make sure that vulnerable youth in our community had education, they had food, they had a sense of purpose and hope. So when the humanitarian crisis began, we were prepared. We were prepared as a university and a community. AUN students, faculty and staff went out and fed people. In addition to feeding hundreds of thousands of people, the AUN API continues to educate thousands of at-risk youth and teach women to be self-sufficient. Many of the displaced people are going home, but children orphaned at the hands of Boko Haram are being left in Yola, where the API is feeding and teaching them. Feed and read for girls and boys is one meal a day, and our students are teaching these young people how to read. It's just to start bringing them up, you know, to catch up with what they have lost. We are learning table manners, hygiene, drawing pictures, multiplication. I learn A, B, C, D, up to Z. I like these programs. For women, we have Waste to Wealth, where the women pick up the plastic bags from the street and turn them into beautiful products. With this work, Waste to Wealth, I pay for my children's fee. I buy a laptop for myself. I bought a cloth for my children. I'm no longer waiting for my husband to buy cloth for them. So I'm the one assisting him. That is why two is better than one. I would like to see every woman living peacefully and is independent of her life. That's why even today you witness the distribution of food is done for the women because these are the people who have kids with them and we believe they can do better. Peace Through Sports is another important youth program. We're basically using sports as a common ground to mentor young men and women, vulnerable kids, um, to get back into school, to get back, to get jobs, to become professional athletes, and use that experience to become valuable members of the society. The goal of AUN API is to prevent more conflict and work together as a community towards rebuilding peace in the region. Once it began, we realized we had to bring religious leaders together to have one voice in speaking about peace. Religious leaders, they show by example, living together, relating together, eating together. As leaders of different religions, people will be encouraged in order to come together. We have been able to bring the religious leaders together, which was uh, very difficult before. We made peace between our followers who are very much uh, at loggerheads before. So this group of people, they are there to bring peace. And coming together as a group, that has actually brought about a huge a change in the lives of so many people. The American University of Nigeria is a development university that helps its community and society achieve equitable and sustainable goals. Together with the Adamawa Peace Initiative, AUN has reached hundreds of thousands of vulnerable people through relief and training programs. I think we've had a lot of important successes with the AUN Peace Initiative. We've trained 15,000 youth, we've made sure that women have an income, that youth are positively engaged. Maybe most importantly, we've had a few youth say to us, it was either you or Boko Haram, and they stayed with us. Margie Ensign believes that the rest of the world needs to hear about how a community-based peace initiative can redirect a region from the edge of despair towards peace, hope, and a thriving society. 
what we've done here in Yola, a very poor place in the world, can be a model for the rest of the world. When poor people came and doubled the size of our city, we didn't panic. The poor people of Yola, the University, the Peace Initiative, we took care of those who are most vulnerable. With the world we live in now, with violence everywhere, we're hoping that people will look at this model and realize that communities can come together and take care of the most vulnerable. Other universities around the world are asking us, how did we do it? We really drew our model from America's land-grant universities that have always been connected to our communities. So we're hoping you will help us out here at AUN with our peace initiative. We formed a foundation in America that's a nonprofit 501c3, and you can help us help the young children and the most vulnerable living in Yola. Thank you, AUN. You can help this peace initiative by supporting the AUN Foundation. Find out how at AUNF.org. To find out more about the American University of Nigeria, go to aun.edu.ng.